Sebastian Mendel Martinez, MMA note here with Mayerbek Taisimov, who faces off with Desmond Green here at UFC Moscow. So, Mayerbek, it's been a year since we saw you last. What have you been doing during that time? You know, I was all year in a training camps. I was like training and hoping, you know, to, to be back soon, you know. But, you know, it took one year. But what's happened is happened. Now I'm back and I'm very happy to show my skills again, you know. And it's no secret that, you know, you've had some problems with getting visas and stuff like that. You know, a lot of people are wondering what exactly is the problem? I mean, you're a professional athlete, you, you fight for the UFC. What is the big issue? You know, I, I don't know what the problem with America have with me, you know. I'm not criminal. I didn't do anything wrong. I put all my life to the sport, you know. And, you know, the Russian guys now, Russia have a problem with America, you know. And because that, the sportsman who put all his life, who works all his life in a, you know, spend his whole time in, in a training gym, cannot fight in America because of paper of you know piece of paper you know i don't know what's going on i need that visa you know because of visa i cannot fight the best on the world you know even i deserve it to be in the top you know but very i hope you know that very soon it's will i will get that visa well, that you're one of the best in the world, I think most people are in agreement of. I mean, you got an amazing win streak, and from what I've heard, there's rumors that the only problem with you getting fight isn't just a visa, but there's not a whole lot of opponents that want to fight you either. Yeah, they, they don't want to fight me, I'm telling you, you know. They know. Anyone, give me anyone from top 10. Watch this, any top 10 guys. I can fight them anytime, anywhere, any, you know, time, yeah? They are, they don't want to fight in America. Why? They just only want to fight in America, you know? They don't fight in Europe. They don't want in Russia fight, you know? It's, it's crazy. And how many top 10 or top 15 fighters would you say have turned down a fight with you? You know, Many guys, many guys, many guys. Even before this fight, they, they don't want to come to Russia. I should fight a top uh, 10 guy now in, in this event. But they don't let me fight, so he don't fight. All right, well, that's a shame for MMA fans around the world. Uh, you did get a fighter to step up, though, Desmond Green. How do you see him as an opponent? Desmond Green, a man, you know, he take the fight. He comes from America, you know, the top 10 guys didn't fight, nobody fight. Desmond Green come here and he's fighting, he's still on the card, you know. He's a man and yeah, we'll see who is a better man uh, in the octagon on Saturday. And, you know, you've built up a real ferocious style, I mean, with just all these knockouts uh, that you've got. I mean, I, I remember over Martin Bandel, I think that was a lot of people, he opened a lot of people's eyes when he, when he knocked him out. What would you say it is about your style that is so hard for people to handle? You know, it's, it's, it's my style, you know, actually I come from wrestling, you know, but when I get to the cage, I just, I like to throw punches, to kick, you know, I like, I like stand-up fight, you know. I spend also a lot of time, you know, for, for the, for the stand-up stand -up game. I was like also in Holland, you know, training there, you know, Holland is, I think, number one for stand-up guys, you know, kickboxing. I spend a lot of time for my wrestling, I spend a lot of time for kickboxing. Yeah. Well, I can see by the look on your hand, you've been punching a little bit too hard. Could you get that from a camera? <laughs> I'm always punching, you know. I like boxing. And uh, this is obviously the first UFC event in Russia, which is, you know, a pretty big deal. I mean, it's one of the world's biggest countries. We still haven't had a UFC event here. What do you, what do you think it means for both European and Russian mixed martial arts that the UFC is finally here? Yeah, it's it was a dream, you know, for Russian uh, Russian fans that UFC come, you know, to Russia, and it's happened, you know, and where it's everybody is so happy. You will see the stadium will be full in, on this night. They sell all tickets, I think, already. You know, so many people was waiting for this, and it's it's huge event, and UFC is very welcome now in in uh, Russia. And how many of your family and friends uh, and fans do you think will be there on Saturday night? You know, I have Grozny, Chechen Republic behind me. All Chechnya will be in the stadium. I think half, more than half stadium will be with the Chechen people. And from Austria coming, my brothers, my friends, you know. So I have Austria behind me and Russian fans, you know. All they supporting me and they love me. And, you know, obviously for good reason. It's just 
I think most fans are in agreement. It's such a shame you can't get a fight, and you know that you know people are trying to follow you, but the visa issue and the opponents moving out. I mean, it's been obviously it's it's damaging. But you've got a lot of fans that stick with you despite that, who want to watch you despite that. What message do you have for your fans who have been with you from day one and through all this visa craziness? I just want to say to my fans, you know, don't give up. I'm not giving up, you know, and I believe that I will get that visa and I will be the champion, so UFC champion. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's supporting me and, yeah, keep uh, supporting me, yeah? Well, you got it, fans back at home. Keep on supporting because if you do that, we're going to keep on seeing more of Mario Bictaismov in the cage. A pleasure as always. Good luck in the fight.